Hey, Robbie Denning with Rockslide here. I wanted to do a short video on the Zeiss tripod adapter and how to install it on your binos. I've had this for about two weeks and used it several times just around the house. I haven't had it in the hills yet, but I feel comfortable talking about it. And I really like how easy it is to install the tripod ad adapter onto the bino. Um, some of the top tier glass doesn't have a quarter 20 adapter, but with this new 10 by 40 SFL that they just released, it does include a quarter by 20 adapter. Um, I'm also reviewing this binocular, so watch for those videos on our YouTube channel as well. Um, so the, adapter, the, the quarter 20 threads are right here. So you just take out your plate, okay? And your stud adapter is that right there, all right? And you can see it's got, um, it's stepped on the stud. I'll show you why, why that is. And then it's got a second set screw right there. And that's what really locks it down to the bino. I've used some competitors adapters and I've had a little problem with some of them working their way loose with use. So Zeiss sends you their proprietary wrench and there it is right there so you lock that down just finger tight and then you take their wrench goes right there and then that screws down to the binocular gives it a second point of contact really kind of creating a wedge force in that stud and then that's tight you can't get it undone so that's how it installs and that would go on any quarter 20 binocular not just the zeiss sfl here is their bino adapter it's got a hole in it right there and then it's got a safety button on it i'll explain how that works here so with that in the horizontal position you come in goes on there and then it locks tight okay and that button you don't have to push it to put it on usually there's been a few times I have but you have to push that button to get it off and it does not come off easy you don't want it to okay um, but that comes in there and then there's redundancy in the system here now that locks it down so it, it, it's got a double locking mechanism to, to keep the binos stable. If you don't lock that down, your binos won't come off, but they'll rock just a little bit. You can see that right there, okay? And I've had that with competitors before. The bino stays on, but it rocks a little bit. By bringing that up, you can lock your binos in place, keeps them from rocking, and again, locks them down on the stud so that they're not gonna come off. You can do all that right there. Not gonna go anywhere, okay? And then you saw how I removed it, you push the button, pull it back, okay? It uses a Manfrotto sized plate on here. Um, I haven't tried it on any other aftermarkets, but it fits the Manfrotto just right. You can see that there, lock that in, turn that upside down. It's not going anywhere. Okay, so that's the Zeiss tripod adapter stud installation. About the only downside I can say on it is when you, when you tighten it down, the, 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 the small set screw, be careful. I stripped it just a tiny bit, you know, wrenching on it. It doesn't take a lot of pressure to tighten it down. And then compared to some of the competitors that are out there, like maybe the, the, the Vortex, a uh, small bino adapter that one's lighter um, but this is only going to matter for your ounce counters and really even your gram counters um, so this one's a little bit heavier um, it, it, it is lighter than uh, some of the others that I've, I've seen out there but it, it's probably on the heavier end of the spectrum for this type of adapter but it's solid and um, I, I would highly recommend it for anybody running a Manfrotto style plate and quarter 20 on their binoculars